Hey guys, thanks for tuning in today. This video is a compilation of me drilling and tapping the PTU on this 2007 all-wheel drive Ford Edge and what it looks like after about nine to 10,000 miles worth of driving. What And what I mean by that is because once I drilled and tapped it, I had to pull the obviously the original fluid out and what results is I had to flush it out with more fluid, which you'll see in the video later when I go through drilling and tapping it, what tools I use, to when I refilled it, I kind of flushed it with some more fluid. And when I did that, I then put the plug in, topped her off, and so now we're gonna tear into it about almost 10,000 miles later and see what the fluid looks like. So this will be a good reference point if you're kind of new to the Ford Edge, all-wheel drive PTU problem and or if you had you're looking at Ford Edges and are kind of curious you might hear some talk about the PTUs and so this would be a good information video just so you know why P, uh, PTU service is important and what the fluid uh, will look like now I drilled and tapped mine but that does not have to be the only way you service the PTU you can actually suck it out from the top for most people that might be that might be the best route if you feel somewhat confident it's a I would on a degree on a scale of 1 to 10 on like mechanical difficulty of pulling this project off if you want to do the drill and tap it's probably about a 6 and so if you want to service it yourself if uh sorry my daughter's yelling in the background if you just want to have it done uh, by a mechanic it's it can be done don't let some service departments will try to tell you otherwise but know that it can be done okay so here's a shot of the tools I'm gonna need to perform this job I got the hammer the punch I just need these basically for my pilot hole I'm gonna use a 3 16 um, I just don't want it dancing around so I'm gonna put one punch in the bottom small not hit, I'm not gonna hit this thing super hard uh, I need the 10 to take off the heat shield here is my 7 16 drill bit which is what I need for this tap here this taps made in Japan um, they got pretty good quality uh, I'll need oh yeah I guess I don't have a picture here the ratchet and the extension I'm gonna use this is a half inch 12 point socket you can't use a 6 point on this have to use a 12 uh, and then here is my uh, quarter inch NPT um, plug I'm gonna put in. I'm gonna need Teflon tape for that, which is also not pictured, but I'll catch the used oil that comes out with uh, a catch pan. And then here I kind of got a who's who of gear oil, but um, got the Royal Purple, got the Lucas, um, and then I got the cheap O'Reilly brand, which I'll use for my flush out portion of this. Okay, got this hole punched in the right spot, I think. Better be sure. This thing's vapor locked right now. Fair enough, I've had to take out the fill plug. Get the air plug helping. So I'm gonna let the rest of this old fluid finish draining out of here and then you'll start to see me prepping the tap by putting grease on it to help catch the shavings. And then we had a unexpected guest show up, my daughter. Hi, Hi Scooby. I love you. Hang on, I'm coming. I'm working on the car. Yeah, don't touch it. It's hot. Hot, hot, hot. Dad on here? 
uh, metal shavings. Mm -hmm. Yep, I'm wearing gloves. Gotta keep, keep these metal shavings out. Of it. Like, look here. See all these little silver chunks? Yeah. It's metal. Yeah. Gotta try to keep it out of what I'm doing. Is that my car? Yeah, it's your car. This whole next part, when it comes to actually cutting the threads into this hole we've drilled, is the part you want to be somewhat slow and meticulous with because while you might see me jump cutting around here in the video, it actually was a pretty slow process. Getting a couple um, turns in, you pull out, pull the tap and your whole socket back out, back everything out, clean the threads off, re-grease it. But I've just kind of edited this down so that um, it's still watchable and you're not sitting here for 45 minutes watching me go through this part of the process, even though it probably is only like 20, but um, yeah. So here you're gonna see me starting to put the last little bit in, I think. And then I, once I finish, I flush it out with gear lube and get to the point where um, I just see the fluid flowing out of there. And so the next part, you'll see me putting this plug in where we have another visitor here for a little bit as Hallie shows up, makes an appearance on camera. I was going through the footage of this and I couldn't leave her out. I figured, oh, we'll get her, her name on this program. But I crawl back under and um, you'll see me putting this the plug in. I put Teflon tape on it and I think the first time I was under there with that plug, had the Teflon tape on backwards, so I had to take it off and put it back on. But nice. then I slowly put this in, take it out, I think once or twice, just to make sure I wasn't cross-threading it, and just get it in there and snug it up somewhat decent. Interesting to note, there's a little bit of sludge buildup on the inside of the drain plug, but still got gear lube flowing out, so I don't think we're shot, but... Now all that is just stuff that's stuck to the magnet. So hopefully that's the extent of the bad stuff, but we're going to fill it, drive it a couple thousand, and then pull the drain plug, put fresh in, and do it again. Okay, so I'm going to have to get the fill plug out first, so I'm using my 3 8 ratchet for, ratchet for that. And then I'm going to, once I have that out, I'll be able to remove the drain plug on the bottom so that it's not vapor locked. You want to remove the fill plug first. And I'm going to catch the fluid in this clear container here so we can examine what it looks like. And with whatever's left over, I'll have a big green catch band that'll catch the whatever doesn't fit in this. Okay, so right there in the dead center of the screen is the fill plug I'm going to pull out really quick. 3 8 ratchet. Alright. There's the fill plug. Let's see, this is my last video. Not much is accumulated on there, which is a good sign for that magnet. Okay, and so right here, you can see that brass plug, that's the drain plug I put in. It's kind of blocked by this heat shield here. So there's two bolts holding this heat shield on. That one I just took out. There's that guy right there, 10 millimeters.
here's the fluid. Um, really, it's there's some bubbles in it that might look like metal shavings, but it's really not. Relatively clean. Um, I mean, it's just a little murky, it's all changing color. It's not, I mean, you can kind of see through it a little bit with such a thin layer like this, but um, definitely still, it's got its, you know, its lu lubrication ability. It's not turning to grease. I mean, you can see how the just, I mean, how just 10,000 miles it goes from clear to this color. I mean, we drove to Colorado in mid July and August and or not August. And in September we drove to Southern California. So we drove through some heat, you know, ran up and down hills, ran pretty hard, loaded car, family. So really can't say I'm surprised, you know, 10,000 miles of hard use what we're looking at, but um, you know, we use our car for family trips, so, um, yeah, interesting, to say the least, what we got here, Let's see if I can get it, I'm trying to keep it off my tailgate, keep from making a mess, yep, just again, those are all bubbles in there, little bubbles from me, probably me stirring it. Hey guys, thanks again for clicking on the video. If you have any comments or questions, hey, leave those down below. Also, while you're down there, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps grow my channel. And one more shout out. If you have any, any problems with your Ford Edge, I highly recommend, or you're looking to get a Ford Edge, I highly recommend the MACT Ford Edge Facebook group so helpful those guys are just good guys they help people out for free over there and it's bill and mano they're usually like they get on top of answering a lot of people's questions i'm over there a little bit other people are over there a little bit so a lot of us have experience over there kind of solving problems on our ford edges and so we have a pretty good community going over there so highly recommend it check it out that's the mac t facebook mac t ford edge facebook group so check it out and once again, thanks for clicking on this video. Please like and subscribe and have a good one, guys.